There we go. Uh, just also a warning that I'm a single mom today. My husband's out of town and my kids are on screens. So hopefully they'll occupy themselves. But if we get interrupted by a four-year-old or a six-year-old, that, that could happen. So um, we're going to do a quick icebreaker. And if you didn't come to conference, like I know you guests weren't there, then you obviously won't have anything to share. But it might be interesting for you to hear from others. So can anyone please share with us their number one takeaway from our annual conference that happened last month? Julie, I'm calling on you. You were there with me, so I know you learned something. <laughs> but you're- Don't do it with me. Uh, number one takeaway for me was just finding motivation to re-engage with my business. How about yeah, that? That's a good one. Summer is a hard time in direct sales. A lot of you customers and stylists get busy with vacations and camping, and we do see a, a little lull in our sales in the summer, but our business picks up with our fall selling season, which starts in August. So this is like the most exciting month in Color Street. We all get reinvigorated and we just run, run, run from now until December or January till Christmas. It's crazy and fun. I had, I had a great time at conference too. I think my, one of my biggest takeaways was um, like Julie, just, just getting re-motivated, you know, to, cause it's kind of cool. It's like, it's just like Play-Doh, right? Like you just can make anything you want out of it. And it just gives you some great ideas and reminds you what, what, what your possibilities are you know, as far as what it is. Um, it also really clarified my, my motivation for being in business. And so that was really helpful for me. Cool. Thanks, Mary. I like the I did, analogy. I did the virtual conference. Oh, cool. Um, but I've gotten excited about Canada. And oh. so that was a big thing. I have a bunch of family that lives there. So. Oh, how exciting. There's my niece is super excited. She's joining our team. We've got our launch party like set up and ready to go. Good. So that I think was my biggest. Your most exciting announcement. Yeah. Tell me your first name again. Is it Heather? Heather. Yeah. Okay. Your, your my first name went away. So I'm like, I want to make sure I call you the right name. My um, kids use it for school. Oh. So it just has their last name. That works. No, it's all good. I'm excited about Canada too. So Wendy and Sherla, um, we've only been in the US for the first four years and we knew the whole time we would be launching internationally and it's finally happening on Monday. We're launching in our first international country, Canada. Um, and it's so exciting. We already have a lot of Canadian people excited to join. It sounds like Heather has somebody and I have a couple of people who are like really considering it. And then we'll just keep growing from there. So it's cool to see where Color Street will go. And it's especially exciting because they waited until they could do it all the way. Like yeah. at first they were like, well, you're not going to be able to sell in Canada. Only Canadians will sell in Canada. And, but they made it, uh, they waited until it was basically just expanding the U.S. We can sell, we can enroll, we can, it's just, it doesn't matter if they're from Canada or the U.S. It's just totally op op open game for everybody, which is so, so exciting. That was the biggest surprise okay. for me that we can sell in Canada. Yeah. And one of the things that you'll learn if you do decide to join Color Street is they only do things the right way. Like Mr. Park is patient to get it right. He gets everything right the first time. He's pretty incredible. Yeah. This is a Canadian nail strip that they made to celebrate the Canadian launch. And those of us who went to the conference got a set of these. And then the first 8,500 Canadians to join Color Street will get a set. They're really cute. Hey, Bridget, did you want to share? I don't mean to call you out. You don't have to if you don't want to, but you're fine. Um, I have already watched a couple of trainings twice because like one, I watch it once and then I watch it another time to take notes, like to absorb it all. Um, but just some things that now that I'm a team lead that I want to put in place. And so the team lead training was like gold for me. Um, I told you the internet doesn't and just work. like, you know, onboarding people. And so I'm putting things in place. And that was kind of what got me the most excited is because I want to make it easy for 
anybody that joins my team to be able to duplicate what I do without like feeling overwhelmed, hopefully. My kids don't know what to do without internet. I'm like, you got to watch something that's downloaded. I know there's some movies on there because we download them for planes and stuff, but we're poor guys, poor kids these days. Go ask Coco to help you. You want to say hi really fast? Okay, hurry, and then you got to go. Um, hurry, say, say hi. hi to Kyla. Oh, Kyla's not on here. That's for when I'm on work meetings. This is a color street meeting. <laughs> Julie, though. Do you see Julie? You know Julie. Okay, bye. I'll come help you when Hello. I can. You don't know the rest of the people. Okay, hurry and go out and have Coco help you with finding a movie on your tab, okay? Uh, um, my biggest takeaway was kind of like Bridget was saying related to some ideas to help my team better. Um, I feel like I've gotten my own business to a pretty good place and I want to be able to share that with my team and really help them figure out how to implement different things. Um, one of my biggest goals that I set at conference was we have a yearly incentive trip where we can earn a free vacation to somewhere tropical and amazing. And I've been able to earn all of those trips. And my goal is to help five people on my team earn that trip. Like I am dead set on taking five team members with me. Can you guys hear my kids screaming? Yeah. Perfect. Um, I'm waiting for my four to come running in. The okay, back, perfect. so because my husband's at work as well. So, <laughs> hey, Deck, if you bring me your tablet, I'll try to find you a movie. Hold on, I'm gonna yell. You don't want to hear this. Okay, so this was one of our big announcements at conference. It was our new foundation calendar. So every year we choose seven or eight different causes that are important to the company. And we um, design a strip during this month that celebrates that cause. It'll have like the colors of the cause, ribbons, whatever. And then we donate money in, during that month from our sales to whichever foundation we're supporting. This is one of many stylists favorite parts about color street is the giving back that we can do. And it's not just about the money that we raise, but it's also that we can raise a lot of awareness and bring attention to these causes as a company during the month. So we have what 200 style, 200,000 stylists. Now I'm not sure how many we're up to Mary might know, but with that amount of manpower and voice that we have in the community, we've seen some really cool things, fundraisers being done. Um, just, different stories being shared that are really touching. And um, at conference, they shared a video. I should have put it in this PowerPoint. I can post it later, but it was the different uh, executive directors from the foundations that we supported over the past year and just coming on and sharing how impactful the Color Street donations were. There was one nonprofit that was surrounding um, like pregnancy and infant loss. And the director came on and said, we were going to have to close our doors during COVID. We lost all of our funding. We were like one week away from shuttering our services. And then we were able to get this, I think it was a $200,000 donation from Color Street. And that sustained us for the entire year. And I mean, just really cool stuff. So that's one of my favorite parts about Color Street. And well, I calmed down. you calmed down. Thank you so much for calming down. I'm gonna see if we can find you a movie in just a second, cause I'm gonna show a video to my friends, okay? Um, this is our current foundation shade and it's a cool one because it's a clear overlay if you've seen our clear overlays. So it's not for a specific cause or foundation. It's just going into our general giving fund and then we'll use it for special projects throughout the year. So like last year, we, um, we actually use N95 masks in our production facility because of the nail polish fumes. And so remember when no one had masks, well, we had a bunch of masks. And so we um, donated thousands of masks and we actually produced hand sanitizer to donate to first responders. So the, the money from this um, generic strip will go towards that kind of like special projects. And then what you can do is- And it was that. in New Jersey. 
it was in yeah, New Jersey where it was like the height of the of the deaths that were happening. Like that's where Color Street's produced. And so it was such a poignant thing to do. It was really cool, Mr. Park. It was. I forgot that New Jersey was like that initial hot spot. Um, this is our earning statement, and we share this in all trainings just because we want to be fully transparent with people that you will see people who make thousands and millions of dollars in Color Street, but that's not the norm. And so we don't want to like make false promises to anyone and say, this is a get rich quick scheme because it's not. This is something that you have to work really hard at. You have to work on your business daily in different kind of ways, and you have to be committed and persistent. And um, so... I don't want to read this whole thing because it'll take a long time, but um, I will definitely share it with you guys later and we can link you to this information so you can just do your full research before you join. You're being so good. Thank you. We're almost to the video. Look, here's the video and then I can help you. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully tell me, give me a thumbs up if you guys are able to hear this when I hit play. Okay. Why dying? I'm just starting it over, okay? Uh, uh, let's see. The TV doesn't work, but you'll have to wait for me. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. That's I was just thinking we need an updated one of those. We've had more cool milestones happening since that video was shared. Launching in Canada, our, our conference. Um, but it's kind of fun to see the history and the background of Color Street. I don't think a lot of people know that Mr. Park started developing the polish in the 80s and that it's been on the market under different, he sold it under different brand names like Avon and Sephora and OPI and Sally Hansen all throughout the 2000s. So the product's been on the market for 20 years. So even though that Color Street is new in its current iteration of direct sales and, and the model we have now, the product okay. itself is tried and true and tested well. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna help you find one. I'm trying to remember where we get the videos. The YouTube doesn't work. Okay, um, I think you guys, well, you may or may not know that Color Street's been having some really epic success in the direct sales world. We've been the fastest growing direct sales company for the last two years running, which is kind of crazy to have that much growth over that consistent period of time. Um, we've been consistently ranked in the top 100 of best direct sales companies and our ranking has been climbing every year. I want to say our, our latest ranking in this year's rankings was like, oh, does anybody remember? In the 30s, maybe? So as we're trying to figure out why, why Color Street has had so much success. We're number 24. 24? Oh, in the 20s. You're choking me. The Papa choke. Okay, look, if you go over here to the downloaded ones, we're almost to the videos, guys. We're almost to the movies here. So we've got really appealing colors. Um, we've got, and you can watch all of those. Those are all downloaded. Okay, go in, okay, go in mom's room and you can watch Blippi. Have you guys seen Blippi? Shit, it's creepy. Don't watch it. 
It's so creepy, right, Heather? <laughs> yeah, they love it. I finally have like weaned my five-year-olds. I have five-year-old twins. I finally like weaned them off of it. Oh yeah. He's four, so we got another year of that. My daughter's over. <laughs> So our colors are so on trend and appealing. Um, we have subscriptions to different fashion houses and runway shows, and we use the information of what's coming out in the runway to inform our color choices. Here's my other child. Yes, Dakota. Can I have some shrimp during the day too? You can bring me your tablet and you can quietly wait. It's gonna take a minute and then I can turn those on for you, okay? Um, we have our fall collection coming out in a week and it is so incredible we got to see all of it at the conference that we just went to Mom, this is the most annoying selfies? regional training ever Mom, will you, put selfies? Will you, put you can selfies? only watch the ones that i showed you that you could watch these don't work well, Libby doesn't work okay why don't you guys go find something else to do instead of your tabs i'm not going to be able to help you TV? fix these the tv doesn't work the internet doesn't work Go play, and as soon as I'm done, I will help you find some internet that works, okay? Go. Please don't come in here again. We need to do something else. We need to do something else. God forbid. Okay. Anyway, our fall line is beautiful. We're coming out with the biggest collection catalog launch we've ever had. It's like double the amount of shades we got last fall, and they're beautiful. We're actually adding a whole new nail polish category to our catalog. So, you know, we have like solids, glitters, overlays. They're, they're adding a completely new category. So that is a really big deal. They're long lasting. I know you guys have all worn Color Street, so you know this, but it, it's really a great alternative to liquid polish. And I think that's why we're finding such success. It's a great middle ground between expensive, costly, you know, dangerous fume nail salon visits but also nobody wants to paint their nails with liquid because it chips the next day. So we've really found this great little niche in the market that has had a hole. And you guys know how fast and easy it is to apply. Busy moms love our product, business women, people who just don't want to sit there and paint their nails for five hours. So Here's a little bit about the business itself. You guys already know about the nail strips and you already love them, but from the business end of things, there's 10 different income streams with Color Street. So I probably couldn't name all 10, but you get commission, a certain percentage of your sales and commission. There's an opportunity to earn bonus commissions. Um, you earn commissions if you choose to build a team and support and train team members. There's a car bonus. Um, Mary's earned our car bonus several times. So she can tell you about our car bonus. We have our trip incentives. Um, we are all, we just started our new trip incentive period and we're all working to earn a trip to Mexico, Riviera Maya. And so what's cool about um, you guys considering joining right now is you are fully on board to try to earn that trip because you're joining right at the beginning of the eligibility period. So you have the next six months with all the rest of us to earn your trip. Guys, I'm shutting my door, okay? Because you're being loud, go play. Um, we get paid every week, so that's kind of nice. Every Thursday, get a little uh, deposit in your bank account. And then we have month end bonuses. Um, I use my weekly money to run my business and like reinvest in product or whatever. And then at the end of the month, I keep my bonus and I save that to do something meaningful for my family. We have free product coming out our ears as stylists. Um, we just finished up an incentive in July, where if we sold $400 or more, we got this really pretty exclusive shade that won't ever be for sale. So those incentives are super fun where you can earn special shades. It's called Heat Wave. It's kind of like this ready orange, shimmery, fiery looking color. I think mine's coming Monday because I got a USPS shipping notice about a package and I'm like not expecting a package from Color Street. So I really hope it's my Heat Wave. Um, let's see. Our company is really innovative and fast growing. We talked a little bit about the fast growth of Color Street. Our exclusive technology is pretty incredible. We learned at conference. So we have this like whole supply line that uh, we need paint, we need machines, we need um, 
I'm trying to think what else, like the, just the different manufacturing processes. Well, our owner has actually invested in all of those pieces of the manufacturing process. So to ensure that we never have a break in the supply chain or like can't get the nail polish we need or um, for example, we had these machines special made that make color street and they kept breaking. So he bought the machine company. So he has control over the engineering machines. Um, his daughter is our head designer and his son is our head engineer. So he has some really brilliant kids and the whole family is just really invested in, you know, keeping color street alive and well. So it's cool. You can work part-time, full-time, you can replace your full-time income if you want to go that route you can be a personal use stylist and only get your own nails i mean it's really the full spectrum and really up to you how much you want to work how much you want to earn um, and what you want to do and every one of all those levels is represented on this call that's what's cool And then we have amazing support from our home office staff. Our home office is in New Jersey, like Mary mentioned. We have training coming out your ears, um, more than you could ever absorb. For those of us who've been around for four years, we can attest that that is such a great blessing because there was no training in the beginning. We had no idea what we were doing, totally bringing in things from other industries to figure out what we were doing. Can I help you? No, my phone doesn't work. I know you guys struggle to understand the internet. None of the screens are working. Let me try mom's phone. No. So we have like a weekly stylist training on different topics, parties, nail bars, enrolling, supporting your team, attitude, time management, you name it. And they're all archived. So what's cool is if you're struggling with your party sales are low. You can go find the training you need to boost your party sales. So, and then during COVID, we started doing little morning Facebook live motivational check-ins and updates because COVID was hard and they've been so well received. We're sticking with those three days a week. So three days a week, you can hop on Facebook at 8 a.m. Utah time. You guys are both in Utah and you can just catch a little 15, 20 minute morning pick me up updates from the company, news of what's happening this week, a little mini training. They're great. I listen to them while I'm getting ready. We have these. In per these are going to be in person eventually. They used to be in person. We have our conference. Um, Mary does a really fun team bingo night every week or every other week. Um, so there's just a lot of training, support. We have Facebook groups, private stylist Facebook groups where you can go and you can get party templates, graphics, like you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You literally just copy what everyone else has created for you and tweak it to make it your own until you kind of get your own vibe and figure out what you're doing. And we talked about some of the promotions and incentives. You can earn this cute luggage set. I've got two of those. I'm working on the last, the last big one. Um, we have a lot of color street jewelry, swag, business supplies. I have Color Street logo stuff everywhere I look in my house. So questions about uh, some of these incentives, perks, how we make money. Anybody else stylists want to share something that they feel like I didn't cover? About like perks. Just to give you a sense for like the average earnings, the average stylist who holds two nail bars each week would earn over $1,000 a month. So just to kind of set your mind, like give you a general idea. So at nail bars or parties, this is really a party plan business. That's the most efficient way that we grow our customer base and get exposed to new customers, meet new nails. Um, and so, you know, you, you identify a hostess, you'll start with your network of people that you know, you'll have your mom, your daughter, your sister, your cousins, your friends, start hosting parties for you and it will kind of snowball from there. And um, it's, they're super fun, parties are fun. Not everyone has two nail bars a week, that's just to give you an idea. This is a little stylist testimonial video. Hello, my name is Elaine Mizak. My name is Amaya Mizak. I am currently a senior stylist with 
and making headway to become a team leader very soon. On January 1st of 2020, I found Color Street. I was looking for a creative outlet to make some changes in my life and my family's as well. I quickly realized how much we love the product and also how it could make a significant impact on my family and me. What started as an idea to include Amaya, who wanted to start working a part-time job, led Amaya right into being my trusty Color Street sidekick. We quickly hit jumpstart goals and bonuses. And guess what? We also started having fun with nail polish. We as a mom and daughter team have used our Color Street business to overcome the fear of judgment and connect with others to share our unique story. Color Street gives us a chance to be unique with our nails, heal, build friendships, and confidence. Building confidence when you fear what people will think of you before they meet you is something most people struggle with. Truly a victory when Amaya and I realized we could gain confidence necessary to say, yes, this happened to my family and me, but it doesn't define who we are as people. Our Color Street business has helped us reconnect within our community to be more open to people and show them that we are doing well through our adversity. We sell Color Street. We found a fun, exciting way to creatively move forward in our lives and not stay stuck in the hard that we have been experiencing for the past few years. I am Amaya, and yes, I am a burn survivor, and my story is inspiring. I cannot change the way I look or how you view me, but I can show you who I am if you give me another chance. And that is how we shine bright with Color Street. Isn't that video so great? I teared up the first time I saw that one, and maybe the second time. Hello, my oh. name is Elaine. Um, okay, so a lot of people ask how much it is to join Color Street. It's $129. Plan on like about $150 with tax and shipping. And this is what comes in it, 13 full sets of nail strips. And if you do the math on the 13 sets of nails, I think it comes out to like $160 or $70 value. So what's really great about that is some stylists will actually pre-sell all 13 of those nail strips before their kit even shows up in the mail. You can do like a mystery sale and tell friends and family, I'm so excited. I'm launching my business. Help me, you know, pay for my starter kit and pre-order one of these 13 sets of nails. It'll be a mystery. People love mystery sales in Color Street. And then you'll actually have your kit paid off before it even shows up. So it's a really cheap um, investment. And I like to tell people, if you're kind of on the fence about Color Street and you're not sure if it's for you or how much time you can commit, just give it a shot because you're not investing $8,000 or taking out a small business loan to do it. Worst case scenario, you'll have 13 sets of nails for cheaper than you would have paid your stylist for them. And you can at least give it a shot. Um, you also get 72 of the little two finger testers. Those are the best business tool, the most valuable tool Color Street could ever share with us. Um, I'm sure you guys remember the first time you ever put Color Street on. Your mind is blown every time. One of my favorite things about my business is to put a toozy on a new person who's never seen Color Street and just watch their mind explode because it's so cool the first time you see it. And so those toozies are really, we send those out to all the people that we're doing parties with so they can try the product before they buy, which is very powerful. Um, when you're at the grocery store and the cashier compliments your nails, you just whip a toozie out and you put it on her right there. And it's a game changer. So um, you get a bunch of those and then a lot of other cute little nail supplies you can use for prizes or for yourself or for your first hostesses. <clears throat> so if you're thinking about being a stylist, what does that really take? Who can be a stylist? So these are kind of like the, the key requirements, if you will. You have to have a real desire to do this, right? Like in this job, you don't have a boss. Your upline's not your boss. You're your own boss. You're not punching a time clock. If you don't invest time in your business, there's no consequences, except you don't get paid and you don't move your business forward. So you've got to have kind of a why to motivate you on the days that you don't feel like working. So for me, my why is um, remodeling, chunks of my house. You know, my husband and I both work full time and 
our paychecks pay our bills, but we've never had like extra money to do extra things. And so my color street money has become my um, home remodeling money. And so we were able to remodel our yard last year after living here for 10 years, and we can never really get that done until color street. So we were able to install grass for our kids, a playground area. I should have sent them out there to play, but it's gross out today. It looks better today than yesterday. Um, and you know, like do our porch, concrete, driveway, all these things that really needed to be done. And so for me, that's very motivating to me. And when I sometimes lose my motivation or I'm busy, I just think about my next project, was, which is a kitchen remodel. Yes, Dakota. You can each have a Gatorade, yes. Thanks for asking. Okay. I need to finish my meeting. Okay, bring it to me and I'll open it. Um, everyone has a different why story. It's one of my favorite parts of Color Street to hear different people's whys. Does anybody else want to share their why or what motivates them? Or maybe for you, guess like what's making you curious or thinking about joining Color Street? Like what dream? Heather. I'll do mine. Um, well, I, I was a previous teacher and then I have four kids and my twins are just going to start kindergarten this year. So after they were born, I decided to stay home because daycare is way too expensive. And um, sorry, what do you need? Go play. Yes, you can. Yes, in the bathroom. Yes, you can put water in there. Bring out my rock. I would need Okay. I'm I'm talking though right now. Okay. It's like they know the second that you start talking. Yes. The second you are doing something other than giving them your full attention. Uh -huh. um, so I decided to stay home. So we lost my full income. And then I started to feel, then the pandemic hit. And then I was totally isolated at home with four kids and no outlet. So I decided that I just needed something to do that was interacting with an adult other than my husband who was at work all the time. And so I, my niece had a party with Stacy, and then I just started talking to her and like, she was so awesome and so nice and answered all my questions. And so I was like, well, it's not that big of an investment and it's fun. So that was really why I started was I just needed something that was fun to do. And so when I start to get like overwhelmed, like, oh, I don't have any parties, I go back to why I started it. I started this to have fun, not to make a ton of money, not to stress out, not to add stress to my family, but it, I started to have fun. And so then that regrounds me back to, okay, this is why I started. Let's go back to having fun. So that's kind of my that perspective, huh? How long have you been with Color Street, Heather? I started, I signed up January 1st. Oh, awesome. That's a cool day to 21. join. Yeah. <laughs> easy to remember. Oh, it is easy to remember. That's awesome. Does anybody else want to share why they love Color Street? I'll share. Thanks. Um, so I originally started just to support my habit <laughs> because I was quickly buying everything. Mm -hmm. Um and like, cause I have a full-time job. Um, not that that's something that I, my goal now, my why now is to make full-time, make Color Street my full-time job. But anyway, I originally started just to sell to myself. Um, and I will, it'll be two years in October that I've been with Color Street. Um, and my why has changed. I think that's normal. Um, now it's, it's given me, especially because of COVID, it's given me a social outlet. Um, it's given me something to like look forward to every day, even though I go to work, you know, eight to five, um, I come home and I, I want to put time into color street. Um, and you can fit it into the cracks. I probably, cause I'm a little bit OCD and type a personality. I probably put more time in than most people. Um, so but I mean, I have a goal of making it my, my full-time job, but 
Um, and now that I have a team and it, it like exploded this year, um, it, I love the friendships that I've gained and helping mentor other women and helping them find um, confidence. I mean, I think that's the biggest thing that I've seen is confidence come out of, out of all of this, including myself. Oh, I love your story. Thanks for sharing. I'd love to share too. Um, so I joined Color Street as a founding stylist. So I was one of the people like the Canadians are today waiting for that day where they have the option to sign up. And so um, when I saw it, I wasn't a girl who, I wasn't a girl who ever did my nails. And so, but I saw the video and I thought even I would buy this. You know, I saw how you, how you put it on and I'm like, it's brand new. Even I would buy it. And then I asked my upline, I'm like, so, but how much are they going to charge for it? I'm like, this is going to be, you know, 30 bucks or something per set or something like that. And she's like 10, 11 to $14. And I'm like, okay. And my mind just exploded. My husband is a doctor and we, um, he has narcolepsy and had to repeat one of his medical school years and we were borrowing everything. So where I was having babies and he was going to school and we went for five years to West Virginia University, which for an out of state tuition is more expensive than like Yale medical school. <clears throat> and so I joined because I'm like, I want to dig us out of this debt. Like I want to dig us out of this debt. And, and I could just tell that it was going to be an explosive opportunity. And it really has been. And after the fact, now it's been kind of a really interesting soul journey for me like I've gone through a lot of um, personal development with the challenges struggles opportunities successes I've been overwhelmed by all of it um, but it's made me like I look back and I'm like wow I don't I don't know of another situation that could have developed me in in this way and also the friendships I I can't even I can't even I didn't even anticipate that at all and it has made an enormous difference in my life to have all these incredible women in my life. So it's it's been really fun. Oh, I love hearing everyone's stories. I know Julie's multitasking, so I won't call her out, which is sad because she has the best why story ever, but you'll hear it one day. Wendy or Sherla, can I um, ask either of you like what makes you, what made you come today? What you're thinking about with Color Street, why you're curious about it? Want me to go first? <laughs> sure, thanks. Um, I, I think I've been. I did some gel nails at the salon. I didn't like the fact that I paid, just gel polish over my own nails. I don't like thick nails because I sew, and I need to be able to grab things and pins and do things. So I don't like acrylics, and my nails are kind of weak. So I did that, and then I started doing them myself, but. Anyway, just having issues. And I saw someone post it on Facebook and thought, oh, this looks like a lot of fun. So I, I don't know. I don't know. That was my question to myself this morning. What, what is my why? Why am I interested in this? I like, is it Bridget that said she started it because she wanted to support her own habit? I've spent a lot of money on Julie's like, been yeah, helping me. You do. You spend a lot of money with me. So the fact that she said she's, did that to support her own habit I think is good I you know I do have some additional questions but it probably just needs to read some more of the material so I don't know if I want I, I do struggle a little bit with the thought process of the beginning when you do something like this anything going hey friends and family and I don't know if there's another way to do that you know, I don't want people to think, well, I'm doing this. And so you have to support me. That's not what I want for myself. Um, but I'd love to, yes, support my own habit. And I have already friends saying, what are you doing? I said, this is so cool. And I'm really considering it. I've never really considered anything like this. So I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence, but I can't, I don't know which way to go. <laughs> well, you just answered your own question about how you make sure you don't come across salesy or pushy when you said that you already have friends asking you about it. Like, yeah. I think that one of the best things about color street is that you're a walking advertisement 
And as long as your nails always look good, you always have people attracted to you because of that. And yeah. it's just sharing that toozy. And then it kind of sells itself as long as you're sharing it. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Um, I, I had a, a person Facebook friend request me the other day. I didn't know her. And within a day, she had sent me this private message trying to get me to join her, whatever direct sales group and host a party for her. And I'm like, can I give you some honest, genuine advice from a, another network marketer? Like, this is not the way to do your business. That is such a turnoff. Like you, like Color Street never trained us to do that. She's like, sorry, my upline taught me to do that. And I was just sitting there thinking like, thank goodness, Mary, who's on here and is my upline never trained me to flip and cold add Facebook people and start PMing them. Like there is nothing about the color street training or business model that teaches you to be salesy or spammy. It's all about attraction marketing, which is I share that. I love my nails. I share that. I love my business. I share how it's blessed my family. I share a lot about my yard. I share a lot about my friendships, my trips, and people are attracted to what I'm up to because they see that I'm having fun and that I'm happy and that I love my business. And then I'm not saying like people just call me every day and want to join my team. Like you do need to ask people, like, I see that you're really into these nails. Have you thought about hosting a party? But it, it does become kind of that simple with, um, just like learning new skills, I guess. So that was a really long way to say, you could be a pushy salesperson, but no one here will train you or support you in being that way. And we will help you learn how to share it in a way that's genuine. And it's really about how it can benefit others. Like look how much it's benefited your sewing, your happiness, your nail use, your pocketbook. And it's about sharing those benefits with others. Um, so, yeah. Well, that's how I found Julie. It was a cousin of mine that posted and her sister sells them but she's out of California so I initially started to talk to her but I thought I want to see these in person and talk to someone local so I just looked it up and that's how I found Julie I just sent her a message hi you don't know me can I try some nails um Sherla we love when that happens that's our (laughs) favorite day in fact I will tell you I remember the day Julie's like I got a corporate locator she's so nice she came over or she went to your house or something yeah yeah, that's a little was, color street gives us is those corporate locators. Um, yeah, I just said, who is in Bountiful near me that I can, and let me tell you, I did buy some from the girl in, in California, a few, but Julie keeps bringing her stash and I keep going through it and I keep shopping. I'm like, Julie, I'm in trouble. <laughs> so. <I'm over. laughs> Wendy, what about you? Well, my daughter and I would like to do it together. We want to split a kit. And at first, until today, thank you, ladies. I was thinking about just for us just to play and have fun. Um, But I can just remember watching Trish throughout time. I follow you on Facebook, on Zoom and stuff. I'm just a quiet person in the background. But I remember one time, my vision is horrible. And I remember one time I saw you on Zoom. You did it blindfolded and you put the nails on. And that's pretty challenging. Yeah, I pretty much do that, but with my glasses on, anybody can do it. Um, I go to the store, people say, oh my gosh, those are so cute. And I tell them about Color Street. So why not do like you said and flip out something, say here, take these home and try it or whatever. Um, My ex-sister-in-law, she sells uh, makeup. And when we went to Alaska, she wanted to have us buy some stuff from her. She literally had a trunk full of stuff and she carted stuff in for over an hour. You know, we bought a few things because we felt bad because she came in. (laughs) But I've seen, you can just put them in like folders. It's going to be so easy. I'm so glad you brought that up. We didn't even mention that. It's the smallest product you can carry in your pocket. You can mail it for one stamp. You don't have to pay outrageous shipping costs to get your product somewhere. I ordered a Scentsy from my girlfriend and she sends me those wax cubes in the mail and she has to put it in like a refrigerated ice packaging to get it to me. And I'm just like, here's my envelope. I went to, I did like a joint party one time. It was me and a LuLaRoe girl. And I showed up and she literally had her whole minivan with like 
eight racks of clothing in the back. And she was carrying bags and bags and bags of clothes into the house for like 45 minutes. And I showed up with my two little bags, one on each arm with my whole entire inventory. It's so great. It's so nice and portable. And you don't really have to have an inventory to do business. It's, it's a personal choice. And I have one just because I like to have it. I think it's just convenient for people to just say, Hey, I want this and I can ship it. And it's sometimes faster than color street shipping time, but you don't have to have any inventory if you don't want to totally personal. Mm -hmm. Yep. However, Julie, what's nice about the fact that you have inventory seeing him in person sold fast. Yep. I was on board really fast to see him in person. So I like that you have an inventory that's helped me spend a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. And in, when I started my business, I could fit all my inventory into a makeup bag. And then I showed you a picture this morning. Now I have eight boxes of stuff, but that's just because I built it up over time because we get so much free product off of our own party sales. So and when you're new in the first three months of your business, Color Street has, they're called jumpstart goals. They're kind of like benchmarks to motivate you to start getting your business going those first three months. And as you hit those benchmarks, you earn free product credit. So by the end of your first three months, you can actually have a decent amount of product that is completely free to you. So it's not the kind of thing where we would ever encourage you to come in and like buy every color to have on hand. I would say some people do that, but very rarely you just slowly build up a little bit of stock as you go. What other Trisha, questions do you guys have? Oh, Bridget, go ahead. I was just going to add um, to like Sherla's concerns about, you know, presenting the business or even just buying from a stylist. Um, think about it in, this is kind of what got me because and I've done direct sales before, um, but for some reason I was gun shy about doing Color Street. Um, think about like when you buy, like Instapot was like a craze for a while, right? Um, and everybody was on Facebook. What are your favorite recipes or what's your favorite Instapot brand? Like you're just basically doing the same thing you do with other products that come from a retail store except now you're making money off of it. So just the fact that you're excited about it and that you're wearing it, that right there is your advertising, if that helps. What other questions do you guys have? I could talk about how much I love Color Street all day, but I've said enough. And I want to make sure you're getting the questions in your head answered. Can I ask? Really? Yeah. I noticed, um, I, well, when I was, I was listening, you mentioned that there's different levels and not everyone has people under them. It just depends on how you choose. So I don't know what Julie's circumstances are, but if- Julie has a big team. She's a great mentor. Okay, cool. So something that if I wanted to work with Julie, I would just touch base with Julie. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So the thing with leadership is you can choose to enroll people and be a mentor or a leader, or you can be like, I never want to support a team. Like I just want to do my own business and it's really up to you. Um, choosing to do leadership. I, I mean, it increases your income. So that's like the obvious benefit of it. But I, I've, I've seen just a lot of stylists like Bridget was sharing that becomes a really uh, meaningful part of your business when you're able to kind of like mentor other women and really help them change their family circumstances. And that's honestly my favorite part of my business. Like I've seen some really cool life-changing things happen. And I love being able to share what I've learned and figured out in the last four years. So um, the leadership thing's up to you. If you want to be a leader, there's like so much leadership support. I'm in like a leader chat. I'm in a leader group that helps me learn how to be a leader to others. So it's, it's a really positive, supportive um, culture. Other questions? Okay, um, if you keep thinking of any, seriously ask, but I'm gonna move on to some recognition. 
Let's see, anybody new in the last 30 days? No, no, you guys, I know how long you've all been here. You like to celebrate our newbies, it's super exciting. Um, Jumpstart is, I mentioned earlier, it's that program where you can earn uh, different cash or free product credit incentives in your first 90 days. And these are the levels. So you'll, if you sell $1,000 in your first month, you get 50 bucks to buy product. If you sell 2,500 in your first two months, you get 75 bucks and it just goes up from there. And I don't think we're celebrating any Jumpstart achievers because nobody here is in their first 95 days. <clears throat> and then we also have an enrolling Jumpstart. So if you share the opportunity and become a leader and enroll new stylists in your first 90 days, you also get product credit. So I think the full jumpstart, if you hit all six of the goals is worth like 500 bucks a product and 200 bucks of cash. I mean, it's like a lot of incentives. Any new ranks? Anybody ranked up in the last month? Summer's not a great uh, rank building time, but we'll, we'll see some ranks this month. I know it. Uh, Heather, what's your rank? Um, the highest I've gotten is senior stylist. That's awesome. My goal for the rest of the year is I want to try and get to team lead. So that's what I'm working towards. I, I have a harder time recruiting people than yeah. team lead's the best rank. Team leader, you get a lot of nice perks. You get corporate locators and placement suite and all kinds of awesome things. So don't give up. This is Julie's highest rank. She's the director. She's awesome. Um, Circle of Excellence. We have just a lot of different promos where you can earn extra money, extra rewards. Circle of Excellence is a promo that we've had going on for a couple of years. If you enroll two people and sell $1,000 in the month, you get a cash bonus. Anybody hit Circle of Excellence last month? It's just a nice little pad to your pocketbook, so. Ready to rank bonus achievers. When you rank up this year, this year you earned a cash bonus. Bridget, did you maintain your highest rank last month? Yes, I did. Good job. Bridget earned the finish line bonus. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. It was uh, like last minute, the, the last day I hit it. It was a tough month. Uh, the rest of us. Uh, it's not. always the last day, the last hour, the last okay. 10 minutes. It's how it always works. Yeah, I know Mary and I were super close. We missed it by a little bit, but this month will be better. Okay, so our training is we're chatting about our goals for the last, what, five months of the year? Yeah, four months of the year. Year-end goals, what you need to do to reach your goals, and planning time. It's a busy time of year. School is starting. Holidays are coming. You're going to have to plan some time for your business in the cracks. I like how Bridget said it, it can fit in the cracks. It really can. So just something to think about by the end of the year, fill in the blanks for yourself. If I had more blank, I would blank. Mine is always, if I had more time, I'm busy as a working full-time social worker and a mom of two kids. I need to pull up my my cheat notes. I couldn't even print my talking points because my printer won't connect without my internet. Um, okay, so the reason why we do this is just visualizing what you want is just such an important part of this business. If you don't have a goal in mind, you're not gonna work towards anything. You're more likely to just give up and not do something if you're not visualizing. I'm working towards that kitchen remodel or I'm working towards when you start small, it's like, I'm working towards a spa day. I need a hundred dollars commission and I am taking myself to the spa or I'm working towards a cell phone payment, something really meaningful. The more concrete of a goal you have, the more likely you are to stick with, stick with it. When you, when the first person tells, you, no, I hate these things or whatever it may be. Um, so just some examples, if I had some extra time, I would volunteer more at the animal shelter two days a week. If I had some extra time, I would take a photography class. If I had some extra money, I would travel to the Grand Canyon. If I had some extra money, I would take a yearly vacation to the beach. Just some ideas to get you going. 
Okay, um, we're gonna break down our year end goals. So grab a, well, you're supposed to have a worksheet that I failed to share. So grab a scratch piece of paper. And we're gonna set some goals for what you want your PV, which is your personal volume to be. And you can just do like a monthly, what your monthly PV goal is for each month, or you could do a total over the next, I would do five months because it's, you've got most of August still. Yeah. And then if you have a group volume goal in mind, your group volume is you and any stylists that are on your team, on your downline. And then you also want to set a goal for how many new stylists you're planning to enroll in the next five months. Those of you who are shooting for the trip incentive might want to tie your goals to those trip milestones. So for the trip, if you're hitting circle of excellence every month, that puts you pretty much right on track to earn the trip. Two new stylists a month and $1,000 of sales will get you to 28 points and you need 30. So sell a little extra for Christmas and you're going to Mexico. All the incentives line up with each other. <clears throat> and then income earning is how much money you actually wanna take home, right? It's not just about your sales because if you're going and reinvesting it in product, like what, how much money do you want for your family? You wanna be paying yourself. And what is that money for? That will keep you really focused. I have a Color Street Savings account. I put all my like excess that I don't need to run my business in the savings account and I watch it grow. And every time it gets to a milestone, you know, I screenshot my husband and I'm like, look how much money is in my Color Street Savings account. I'm so excited. And then do you have a leadership rank goal? We know Heather's working towards team leader. I'm working towards executive director. Bridget, you're working towards director, I guess. Yes. It's fun to um, rank up. It's like a big achievement. And then what incentives are you shooting for? Are you working for that circle of excellence, cash bonus, the incentive trip? I am working for the incentive trip. I've got my tracking sheet right here. In fact, one month from yesterday, I am going to Cancun for my Color Street trip that I earned last year. The, the COVID ruined our company trip, so everybody got a voucher to travel on their own. So I'm using my voucher to take myself for free, and then I'm bringing my kids and husband along, and I'm leaving in like 29 days. I'm so excited. My kids are excited too. They have a kids club. I'm just going to drop them off all day, every day. <clears throat> okay, so hopefully you guys got some goals set down on paper, writing them down makes them a little bit reality. And then we kind of need monthly milestones. So if you wrote down monthly goals, you kind of already did this, you already broke it down into monthly goals. But if you set um, a year end goal, you'll need to break down how you're going to get there by each month. That's honestly how I've earned every Color Street trip is I sit down with the tracking sheet at the beginning of the trip incentive and I see how many points I need to go and I just divide that by months and I say, okay, my internet's unstable. Can you guys hear me? I know that I need five points a month to go to Cancun, five points. And how am I gonna get to five points? I'm gonna need this many sales. I'm gonna need this many stylists. That is 30 points in six months. Let's see. When I share the worksheet with you guys, it will it'll help. And then we want to take those monthly tasks and break them into weekly tasks. So you know how much time and how many nail bars and how many sales and you need to be getting each week. So you don't get to the end of your month and you're like, I was gonna have a thousand dollars of sales and I'm only at 200. What happened? Well, did you schedule a nail bar each week? Did you get 10 samples out to people? <clears throat> so we have this kind of routine called color 10. It, the idea is to get 10 new samples on 10 new people every week. 
Some weeks you get more than 10, some weeks you get less than 10, but you want to keep that 10 in mind. That's, you know, sending them in the mail to new people, doing a nail bar with 10 people, whatever it takes. If you're getting 10 samples on people a week, you will be making money. There's no way you won't be because most of those people love your nails. How many follow-ups are you planning to do each week and when will you do those? Got to schedule time to follow up with people you've mailed samples to, people who've come and purchased at your nail bars. How many new bookings do you need to focus on getting each week? How many nail bars do you need to hold each week to achieve your goals? And how many conversations do you need to have about enrolling? So start with your big goal, work backwards. It seems much more realistic to you that way. Oh, planning your time. Um, if you invest 10 to 12 minutes a day in planning your day, you will save two hours of wasted time and energy. I am 1000% a believer in this. <clears throat> I use a method called time blocking. And when I'm doing my time blocking the night before, spend 10 minutes to block out and plan my day. I am so flipping efficient. I feel like I'm so on my game. If I don't do the time blocking, I'm like flying by the seat of my pants, interrupted here. What's my priority here? Wasting time, distracting myself, total ADHD. So spend those 10 minutes to really plan your day, plug in your color street when you can, plug in your whatever you need to do. <clears throat> oh, calendar blocking. So calendar blocking is where you kind of schedule <clears throat> every 15 minute chunk. Um, down to like, I need 45 minutes to get ready. I need 15 minutes to feed my kids breakfast. I need 30 minutes to get them dressed and teeth brushed and out the door. If you do that with your week for a couple of weeks, you will learn so much about how you're spending your time or not spending your time. You will identify places where you think you're being efficient and you're not. You will learn how much time really tasks are taking you, even though you think they're taking you this amount of time. It's very, very insightful. <clears throat> so you just get like a calendar that has the hours blocked out and then you just fill in your whole day. Seriously, try it. It's mind blowing. <clears throat> Power hour is just a tool you can use to really push your business forward. You schedule yourself an hour and you have some pre-planned tasks to do during that hour and you just work your butt off. You don't scroll on Facebook. You don't let anyone bother you. You're just super efficient. I'm reaching out to 15 customers. I'm sending these samples in the mail. Set an egg timer, something that keeps you like focused on. I only have an hour and you will be amazed how much you can get done. These are some resources that we got at conference, just to summarize and highlight for you. All the workshops that we went to, all the breakouts are recorded and available until August 30th. So you've got what, three more weeks that you can watch those. Um, Shirley and Wendy, if you guys join, even though you missed conference, you'll have access to watch the whole thing, which is super cool. And these are the different breakouts that we had. Um, we could each only go to one, but you can catch the other ones that you missed. This is our trip incentive. I've talked a lot about that. This is just um, reminding you to be working on it because it's great. We'll be going to um, Mexico next September. Circle of excellence. We've talked a little bit about that. That is if you enroll two people in a month and sell a thousand dollars in a month, you get a cash bonus. The bonus is more depending on your rank. And what's cool is they announced at conference that the cash amount for the BQ and senior stylist and team leader is higher than it ever was. So it's, it's more money for the lower ranks, which is so exciting. Canada, we talked about that. We're launching on the 9th. Um, starter kits will ship the 10th. Our website will be available in French as of that day. So customers can choose to shop in English or French. We're also getting Spanish as well with all of our resources and website. Um, just a team brainstorm. What are some ways that you can network into a new market? Who's had success with kind of tapping into a new 
So this is an example of Canada, right? Maybe Heather, you could share with us what your strategy has been. Um, well, I just, like with Canada, I knew that we were eventually going to launch there. And my family in Utah has a lot of family that lives in Canada and they come back and forth a lot. So I would have people come down and be like, I'm in the US, I want to buy some Color Street. And they would, you know, buy it through a party or have a, buy it directly through me. I don't know if I was supposed to do that because they, but they were in the US, they were on US soil. So I figured I was safe there. I wasn't mailing it to Canada. Um, and then they fell in love with it. So every time they would come back down, they would be like, oh, so-and-so said to try this color or so-and-so said to try this color. So they would, when they were in town, they were like, I love this product. When is it coming to Canada? When is it coming to Canada? So I would just every so often to say, okay, I, I know it's going to be this year. I don't know a date yet, but I'll let you know as soon as I find out. And so as soon as it was announced at conference, that was when I then, um, I like called all the people I knew and was like, we're going to Canada. We're on this date. And I actually, um, Stacy recommended it because I was going to do the launch party. She said, open the part, open her party now. Let her start getting all those people from Canada in that party and excited. She's already had people wanting to order. And I'm like, you can't order till the night. <laughs> she has to like have her link. You can't order it through me yet. Like, so she already has like 30 people in her VIP group that, and half of them have already requested to order or want samples or want a catalog. So I've just been like, I guess, talking a lot about it. And then, you know, you find somebody who's really interested and you just kind of go with that. So I don't know, I guess. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. It's really good. Um, my little guy's best friend from daycare has, she's Canadian and her mom's Canadian and I'd never put color street on her, my bad. And, but I, I was like, I need to take you to lunch. I need to tell you about this business opportunity because to get in early is just going to be so beneficial. So I took her to lunch. I gave her some sets of nails. <clears throat> she was, she loved them. She is likely going to join. And then she has three sisters and a mom in Canada. And two of those four people are very interested in joining with her. So it's just sharing, talking, being excited and open about it. Okay. Take action. Um, I'll send you guys the worksheet so you can fill that out. Just writing that down on paper will help you commit your own self to that. Share that with your upline or if you have an accountability partner that you like to work with, sharing it with somebody will make you feel a little bit more accountable to it and make sure you're using the resources that we have from Pave the Way. News and updates. We talked about how the cash bonus was increased on Circle of Excellence. <clears throat> ready to rank. We just wrapped that up. So we don't need to talk about that. Um, we have a stylist app. So when you guys join, you can download this on your phone and it has training resources. It walks you through a whole training series from beginning to end to get you going and you earn free product credits. So you can buy some free nail sets and some swag with your training points. <laughs> Um, is this a real video? Oh, tech tip. If you're doing trainings on the app and you can't watch the whole video at one time and you, or you get kicked out of the app, it will now save your place. That was kind of a glitch when we first got the training app. If you like went to take care of your kids and came back, you'd have to start over, but not anymore. So that's, that's good funny. because I, I, that was really annoying. <laughs> so annoying. You can just hit restart now. <clears throat> this is our swag store. This is this kind of stuff you can buy with your training points. Jewelry with like our logo or made out of our polish. See how these ones actually have Tokyo lights inside the setting. It's a fun little advertising thing. People compliment your necklace and you're like, oh, it's made out of nail polish. What? Oh yeah, I have a sample of it. 
<clears throat> these are some of the business tools you can get when you need. Um, you can, we have like a print portal through Vista Print where you can buy discounted printed like business cards or thank you cards, kind of logo invitations, stuff like that. Um, customer service. Oh, this is huge news. I want to talk about this. Prior to now, you used to have to sell $300 in a calendar month, one time every six months in order to stay active. <clears throat> they got rid of that requirement to sell $300 ever. So it, what's cool is you'll never go inactive if you take a break or if you're not like a, a regular seller. Um, <clears throat> so it just opens the door to be a little bit more casual seller or personal use with your selling. Um, now, I mean, if you want to, meet reach some of those goals that we talked about financially and supporting others you're gonna be wanting to sell at least 300 dollars a month um but it just gives you options and then ways to stay connected with color street don't forget we get a monday newsletter as stylists make sure that's coming to your inbox and not your spam we have our tuesday training call that's live and then recorded and shared every tuesday um, every Wednesday, we do a new stylist training call. So the week that you join, you can hop on that and they'll email you the recording if you miss it. We have text alerts. We're on all the social media platforms. They've been doing some really fun stuff on TikTok and Instagram stories, mixed mannies, and just really like getting the word out for us. And that's just benefiting our market awareness, right? The moment you put a deadline on your dream, it becomes a goal. Okay, got to have those deadlines. Keep yourself going. All right, questions. Oh, Sherla had to hop off. Thanks for coming, Sherla. We'll tell her thanks. <clears throat> Wendy, do you have any other questions? Okay, well, I'm ready to get you going whenever you're ready. Okay, we'll keep in touch with you for sure. Yeah, Thank Rachel's you. got some good foundation. So her daughter did Color Street before, guys, and then moved and had a baby. And <clears throat> so I think this time, will you be the one signing up, Wendy? And then you guys will yeah. kind of work together. Yeah. It'll be fun. I'm excited. I love yes. Rachel. Yes, yeah, she's awesome. <clears throat> All right. Well, you guys are great. Thank you so much for coming. And we'll be back next month. Stacy does the alternate months. So Stace will be training in September and I'll be back in October. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks. Nice Thank to meet you, you, Heather. See you guys. Bye.